this is what the train of the future could look like. A double-decker that would be able to travel at speeds of up to 400 kilometers an hour and accommodate 1,600 passengers. But wouldn't that mean even more congestion on station platforms and increase the chance of delays? To avoid this scenario, transport researchers working on Germany's next generation train project have been rethinking the concept of train travel. Platform congestion can be reduced if passengers check in larger items, airport style. Hand luggage can be placed in lockers or under seats. That would also make things a lot more comfortable for passengers. But researchers realized it wouldn't solve all the problems. That's why we decided to construct a new variation. I can show you a video of what it looks like. The second class passengers are accommodated at ground level and the first class sit on the floor above them. We realized that boarding and alighting times can be reduced if they're accomplished simultaneously. Passengers would enter on one side and exit on the other. Upstairs passengers would use ramps to embark and disembark, doing away with internal staircases. Stations with two separate levels for passengers to access the train would be even better, according to project manager Joachim Winter. Researchers have also given the train's basic construction a rethink. Each wheel will have a separate motor. The train will no longer be propelled by a locomotive. The motive power will be distributed over the entire train, so its dynamics will be different. The individual wheels will also steer into the curves, so they'll make less noise. The researchers are also trying to reduce the noise created when the train enters a tunnel, a tricky issue with high-speed vehicles. When you try to enter a tunnel at high speeds, you have the same problem as if you're trying to press down on a pump suddenly with all your force. It makes a wheezing sound. In a unique experiment, the engineers have discovered that this phenomenon can be avoided if tunnel entrances are constructed in the shape of a funnel. The fact that each carriage has its own propulsion system will also make coupling and decoupling a lot easier. What's also new about the train is that we would no longer have to couple train sections mechanically. Instead, we're planning on using a telematic system. Electronics will ensure that train carriages remain in place. We might also use optics. As a result, the nose of the train will no longer have to accommodate the coupling mechanism. Jens Koenig says this means that it can take on a new function. The crash safety elements can all be housed in the nose. In the event of a collision, the nose will be crushed. The fiber bonded material will be pushed inward, splintering into extremely tiny pieces. The fineness of the fibers means they'll absorb a lot of energy. The new nose will be able to stand up to a lot more knocks, and it can also be easily replaced. The researchers have also reworked the body of the train. Each unit is just under five meters long. The new aluminum construction means that it's a lot lighter than any of its predecessors. The lightweight construction method means we could redesign the train. The train sections are longer and we can fit in more passengers. When the train is full, we reach maximum axle loads. Some of the research project results are already being put into practice. It's full speed ahead for the train of the future. <laughs>